that. A fifth person has tested positive for what is presumed to be monkeypox. That case right here in New York City. News 12's Jordan Kassane joins us now from Canarsie with more on the virus. And Jordan, health officials, you know, they say that this risk is still low to the public. Christy, that's right. The CDC tells us 20 cases of the monkeypox virus have been confirmed nationwide. Five of those right here in New York City. But the good news here, though, they say that no deaths have been reported as a result of the virus and that one FDA approved antiviral medication is already being used to cure it. In a tweet yesterday evening, New York City health officials did confirm that an additional person has tested positive for the orthopox virus. The virus presumed to be monkeypox here in New York City, bringing the total number of confirmed cases around the Big Apple to five. According to the New York City Department of Health, the virus first made its way to New York City on May 4th, when one patient was treated for an oral lesion and rash. And after around two weeks of isolation, doctors confirmed the patient positive orthopox test results. Leading health officials tell us that yes, symptoms include oral lesions and rashes on the skin. They also said to be wary of fevers and swelling of your lymph nodes. Health officials say that monkeypox does spread through droplets just like COVID-19, but according to the CDC, the level of public risk around the virus is still relatively low. Experts tell us that T-pox, an antiviral medication used to treat smallpox, is being used to treat cases of the orthopox virus here in the US. And now the question many New Yorkers are asking is how dangerous is this thing? Our crew spoke with Dr. Nakish Bandy, who tells our crews it may be too early to know, but emphasizes the importance of remaining vigilant in prevention. I think it's too early to say where we are with this right now. There is not that many cases in uh, the United States or in New York City, uh, but we should be alert and we should be vigilant about it. Um, I know that we have anxiety because what we went through through COVID-19, uh, this, this virus doesn't transmit as easy as COVID-19, but definitely there are some risk factors for transmission. Dr. Nakish Bandy tells us we can rely on our tried and true cold prevention strategies like washing hands and keeping up on our vitamin intake. He does uh, urge anyone who does begin to feel ill after traveling to consult with their physician. In Canarsie, Jordan Kassane, News 12. Jordan, thank you for that.